Hello and welcome to Beauty Diaries. My name is Namu Ray. Today we're going to be talking about something very interesting, something I am very much interested in. And um, to get into the business of the day, I have my friends here with me. Uh, we'll be talking about um, healthy lifestyle, weight loss, weight loss journey, and how to keep, you know, moving on with your weight loss journey. <laughs> Okay, first is Matilda Duncan. <laughs> oh, I Matilda Duncan, welcome. Matilda Duncan is a radio presenter, amongst other things. <laughs> okay, next is um, Tokwe. Tokwe is a pharmacist and uh, a weight loss coach. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And of course, I have my friend here, Kaite Robson. Kaite Robson is um, a serial entrepreneur, <laughs> an interior decorator. But of course, as you can see, we're all well blessed and we're going to be sharing our experiences with you. Yeah. <laughs> we so much love ourselves, but hey, it's good to talk about healthy lifestyle. Yes. Until that, you've been on a weight loss journey. I am. So how did it all start for you? <laughs> good Lord. Um, I think a few words that made me wake up to this call uh, it was literally saying, if you don't lose, lose weight, I'll die. And this is because, of course, with your health, your heart is not beating right, you're unhealthy, you can't move. And with what I do, with a lot of things that I do, I need to be able to be quick. So um, it, it's, it's, it's pretty dramatic, but I couldn't actually touch my toes. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, at some point, but now, you know, it's, it's a little better. Cutting off from like a size 32, a UK uh, 32, to now 22. No. Wow. Yes. In seven wow. months. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's impressive. Yes. Yes. Oh it feels my good. There's a little more confidence. There's, everything is going, so it's really mm. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will come back to you. Okay. Um, <laughs> you're a life, uh, I beg your pardon, weight loss coach and yes. a pharmacist. Yes, I am. How did it all start? Well, it started in 2015. Mm -hmm. I was pregnant. I had preeclampsia. What is preeclampsia for okay, those that um, do not know? It's a condition in pregnancy. <laughs> okay. You know, when you had so much weight, it, it can be genetic. But for me, I knew it was my lifestyle because I was eating a lot. So when you have preeclampsia, you get blurry vision. Some people actually oh. go blind from it. You get mm -hmm. consistent, like persistent headaches. You can get swelling of the feet. Wow. Your blood pressure goes up. Baby's heart rate is messed up. Mm -hmm. So I had to have emergency C-section at 37 plus to bring my son out. After giving birth, my blood pressure was still up. I was still at 90 kg. Nothing was wow. working. So I decided to focus on my lifestyle change. Started taking because I had C-section. I couldn't walk out easily. So I was taking walks, eating gradually. And in a year, I was down to 65 kg. Mm -hmm. Got pregnant oh. again no blood pressure, nothing like that. Pregnancy nice. went well. Started sharing with people, you know, I created this group on WhatsApp. I'll just come, come, let's lose weight, let's do this and all. You know, for free, I'll have like 100 women on the group, people losing weight. Then someone came one day and I was like, I'm um, to lose weight, how much? And I'm like, how okay. much? Time and the pharmacist says, how much? <laughs> <laughs> so I monetize this, I started That's doing courses aspect. online and all then. Okay. Right now, like I've worked with over 500 women and all. So and oh, yeah, good results? Good, yes. Yeah, my page is. Okay, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's page page is good. Yeah, my Instagram results. page is there to see results. Okay. Okay. Right. For three of us, free yeah. of charge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> um, for, for me, I, I. You know, it's wrong to say I was born big. I don't know if you guys understand that. Right. I, I wasn't born big. You were not. I was. Okay, so I was a normal you baby. Can be big I was. Bond. You can I was. My dad is 87 now. We're all big in my family. And my dad is still taller than me. I was born skinny. So he's like 6'4 and he's like, you know. Big. Okay. Oh, wow. The weight loss um, for me was because of two reasons. One, because of my health. Mm. I'm asthmatic. And I noticed that I couldn't catch my breath. I just couldn't um, breathe well. Mm. Then the second aspect was very, maybe material, because um, my clothes weren't fitting anymore. Mm. All the clothes I liked weren't fitting, and I really was upset. So I started the journey for two reasons, mm. to make sure I didn't have to buy new clothes okay. and also for my health. Okay, nice. interesting. For, for some of us, we've lost weight, and then we've added, really, you get to a plateau and, you, you just think you're not losing again. 
for me the weight um, the I don't I don't go on the scale. Okay. It discourages yeah. me. Mm -hmm. So as a weight loss coach, what do you have to say about healthy living? You say you, one can change the lifestyle, yes. and how do we keep on going? And you know, just to be sure that or be encouraged that okay, I can still lose some more weight. Okay. So basically, for me, what I tell people first thing is you have to make it a lifestyle, okay. but you have to change your mindset. This losing weight is not just physical, it's not just about meal prepping or register. You know, you can go to the gym and pay for three months and you won't even go there once or twice. You've not been, not been there. A lot of people weeks. encounter people that will come and say, I've paid for the gym for six months, so I'm going. They would not go. So you have to set your mind right. Why do you want to lose weight? You need to have a reason, then you start. Of course, people plan to like, even I personally, and my baby is six months. For the last two months, I was hoping to be 70 kg when she's six months old. Yeah. But she when I checked, <laughs> yes. <out> so, then <laughs> 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 really? so, so I played to actually, you know, in August, I was like, okay, by the time she turns six months, that is in this August, yes. I should be at 70 kg. To my surprise, I checked and I was 70 kg. And I was like, I'm doing everything right. I've been working out, I've been be eating and all <laughs> that. So I played to That's what I'm trying to say. You can, like, it's normal. But what you have to do is, okay, I've been, you can't do the same thing over and over and yes, expect a certain result. result. So when you play to, you have to change, switch things up. You can try, okay, let me start fasting. Maybe I should fast okay. once a week. Okay, am I drinking enough water? Should I? No, you have to change, like switch things up basically. Right. So if you were going to the gym and just on the treadmill, for example, okay, I'm going to you start know, lifting I weights. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, I'm going to, you have to do something different, different. when you play to then. But it's good as you said, don't be obsessed with the scale. I don't yes. want the scale. When I tell people I don't have a level, you, you don't have a scale. So what do you size mean? Were you, what, was she really big? Were you really 90 kg, 90? 92 kg was my biggest. So what do you know? 72. Wow. wow. 72. But before I got pregnant for the second baby, I was 68. So I'm trying to get oh, back to okay. 68. <laughs> exactly. I want right. to get back. I want to be able to wear my wedding dress. Although I've not tried it. But <laughs> <laughs> once I get back there, I'll know that, okay. We are okay, we just want to maintain the weight now. Okay, Matilda, it's your turn yes. to tell us about your journey, but we'll be right back after this break. Beauty Diaries. You have celebrities who actually buy, make their clothes every now and again. Yes, some people get paid to show up at events. Oh, okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then for some other people, you have designers who clothe them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for instance, you have a, a a celebrity that you like their fashion sense. You tend to make clothes where they make clothes because you like this person. She's yeah. fashionable. And for a smart designer, you find those, especially the rising ones, and you clothe them for free most of the time, sometimes for 50% of the actual cost. You know, some, a lot of times for free, actually. Because what they do is they give you a platform. They're advertising for sure. you. Normally, yeah. you're supposed to even pay for them to advertise and tag you and tell the world that, this is my designer. This is a person's, you know, outfit that I'm wearing. You yes. know? So um, a lot of times, most of them don't buy. Sometimes they even rent. Hmm? Yes. There's nothing wrong in that. I mean, <laughs> yes, <laughs> international <laughs> celebrities also rent outfits. They make it because okay. sometimes they don't wear those clo clothes again. They are always in people's faces. Hey, okay, welcome back. You just joined us for talking about weight loss journey, um, changing your lifestyle, and keeping that weight off. You know, I've known you for years, and I yes. saw your picture. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. That didn't happen. How did you do it? Is that Matilda? <laughs> <laughs> what did she do? And I, I, I call, I asked her. I, of course, I, I just can't ask anyone. Yes. Uh, yeah. Ask you. Matilda, what's up? Really? So if Matilda can do it, no more. What's happening to you? I you know, know right? that again. <laughs> So tell us. I'm sure there are people out there who are looking at me and saying, has she actually even lost weight? So hopefully ah. a picture or two will come yes. up in a minute <laughs> to show you what I looked like before. Like I said, a size 30, 32 UK, which was really big. I didn't know I was that big. I didn't realize I was that big. It was my mom that would come and see me and she would say, ah, chauffeur Benny. You know, you're my son. I'm like, you want to blow us. Exactly. <laughs> and like it was, it was, cause I, I'm not a very sluggish person. Yes. You know, I'm tall and I would move as quickly, so I didn't feel it. But I knew, for some reason, I hated the phrase, <laughs> big auntie. <laughs> Everywhere I go, they'll be like, hey, mama, big auntie. And I was like, I'm not that old, you know. So, um, medically, my family, we've got a few, you know, people, they say, you know, it's hereditary, there's hypertension going on. 
So um, about four or five years ago, I, the doctors had said I'm not, but they said I was hypertensive. So my mom was in town and then she went on with me for about six months. We did full head on exercise, you know, ate well and all of that. And I dropped like that. And then she left and then life was back to normal. And then I went, boom, 10 times bigger. It was crazy. And then I realized that every three months I was actually buying a new set of clothes. I didn't feel it because when you hustle a little bit and some cash, we're going shopping. And all I was doing that, wait, hold on a second, but I was a size 24 before. What am I now buying to this six, you know? So like she said earlier, it was easy because the first uh, few well, days of the year, if you're in like redeemed or whatever, you know that they do this yeah, 40 days of fasting. fasting. Mm -hmm. so everybody's... Now, thank <laughs> God, I work directly with my pastor as a protocol member. So it was you had to have this fasting. I was just like, how am I going to escape this fasting? Because the thing is, everybody's losing weight mm -hmm. and I'm still big and I wonder, are you fasting at all? You know. So I took that seriously in the beginning of this year. And after about three weeks, I got used to the fact that I was only eating once a day. And then, of course, you, 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 your, your stomach gets smaller. Yeah, you can't well, eat as you much. You can't contain as much. Yeah. Right. So after a month, everybody's going, ah, we can see your neck. What's going on? I was like, am I really losing weight? So it got exciting for me. And then I started walking. So I walk one hour every day. And that's the secret to weight loss for me. Being consistent. Because of the daily meds I'm on for the um, high blood pressure, I can't do anything with salt at all. Uh, yeah, sodium. I don't do red meat at all. So I've been a bit friendly with fish. And now, because I mean, we all cook that comes in and makes us a bit of vegetables and things like that. Um, I don't play with my fruits. I don't play at all. They were like, you know, wake up, an apple a day keeps the doctor's <laughs> So I always have my apples going on. You know, I take out, they say, oh, don't do pineapples and all that. I say, nah, I eat all the foods. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. saying that. <laughs> I get that. But I once in a while, I would, I would slunge in and say, you know what, it's chick day. Pizza, please. Can I have some swallow? What's going on? Can I have some rice? But the trick about that is very little portions. Okay. And then a lot of water. A lot of water. That's all. No fizzy drinks. Don't mind what we have here. Yeah, They're not fizzy healthy. drinks. No. They're healthy options. It's just mm -hmm. red paint. <laughs> no. <laughs> Something red. It's a good drink. Have this drink. Ikaisi, how has it been like for you? Have you ever, you know, added, lost, added? All the time. Okay. <laughs> One minute I'm 106. The next. Wow. Is that too much? Little? No, compared to where I'm coming from. <laughs> okay, for me, that's. Huge. I That's was afraid to say what I, my size was. My no, I can say it's 106, yeah, the next one, 103. Hey, wait, do you know the electric <laughs> ones? I went for the electric, the, the electric uh, scale. Yeah. I promise you this, it's not a joke. <laughs> I was out there one time in the States, I climbed on it and it wrote error. Oh. Hold on, then I went again on it, I thought there must be something wrong, and then it wrote there, please get off. No. I'm not kidding. Please see the doctor. No, it was literally saying take off weight. Like you need, you need to get off the state. You yeah, know? the the scale. And that I, mean, I thought. Wait, hold on a second. Then the banks. A few times I've gone in through the banks and tell me one person please. Hey. <laughs> yes, that's true. One person please. This only allows one person. I'd be like, close the damn door. What's wrong with you? <laughs> also, you know, but yeah. So you get a little embarrassing. It hasn't been like easy. That but it's worth it. Yeah. When you see um, the, your desired, when you achieve your desired weight, oh, yeah, you, like, you, mm -hmm. you really, you really love yourself. For yeah. sure. It hasn't been easy at all. Mm. But um, I think what I've basically done is portion control. I'm not there yet. I'm, I've reduced the sugars. I still like my carbs, but I've reduced <laughs> that a bit. But um, basically, I think it's about discipline. Yes, mm -hmm. discipline. exactly. Don't mindset, cut off anything, like mindset, but discipline yourself. The timing too is important. I don't mm -hmm. know if that's true, dietitian. They said we shouldn't mm -hmm. eat late at night. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do that not right now. Absolutely, actually. Oh, what's real? not true? Yeah, what people usually say is don't eat late at night. Now, the definition of late to you is not the definition of late to me. One. Then two, what people should say instead is eating three hours at least before you sleep. Now, okay. some people, I've had clients that because of this, they will eat 5 p.m. Then they will call you and be like, I'm hungry. And I'm like, when did you eat 5 p.m.? Why did you eat 5 p.m.? When you know you are not going uh -huh. to sleep early. So okay. as a breastfeeding mom, like my nursing mom on my program now, there's a way I allow them eat because we are awake breastfeeding at night. Yes. Uh -huh. So you should have your night snacks, actually. What is important is you creating calorie deficit 
every day consistently. Doesn't matter Calorie when you eat, what deficit. time you eat. That's the word. That's it. Calorie deficit. You have to create it. Please explain further. I, <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> okay, a calorie deficit is basically what you put in. Like it's different from everybody. Okay. Yes. I don't do it one size. It's not the one size. Like people that are bigger, they tend to eat more. One so there's a way we calculate. No, it's not in one size fit all. Mm. So there's a way it's being calculated. It's basically you calculate your weight, your present weight. You mm -hmm. multiply it by 22 kg. <laughs> then you. <laughs> okay, let's not go into the math. No, 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 please go ahead. Okay, so your your current <laughs> weight you multiply by 22, 22. Uh -huh. then you minus 500. Oh. So what is left? That's what you should eat. Daily. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you like mean? the calorie now. Okay, let me use right. myself. Let me say I'm 70 kg, for example. Well, okay. we'll have another we're like 300 kg. That's I'm saying. You more. that's why people that are bigger they eat more because you need more food than I do. Oh, I see what you mean. Do you, yeah, you need more food than I do now. Maybe I can eat 1,200 calories a day. Mm -hmm. If I place your 1,200, you won't starve. Like you'll be on, yes, you'll mm, starve. Okay. Your body will yes. go into starvation mode. Well, to make it easy for people that are just starting, okay. like if you don't want to pay a weight loss coach to go through all that stress for you and you want to lose weight the first thing you should do is cut 50 percent of what you are eating yeah that is the easy mass portion control. Portion control so that is the easy mass you don't want to count calories you don't want to know it even goes deeper so if you don't want to count carbs protein and go deep into yeah. all that just okay i'm going to eat half of what i was eating before so if i was eating two cups of rice before i would eat one cup if i wasn't having fruits before i would have fruits basically like okay there's another um topic or area i would like us to talk about where you where you um are losing weight in the wrong places mm -hmm. there are some parts that you know you have the tendency to have more fat in but you know it's not working we'll talk about that when we're back from this break it's time to go to the creative and we'll be right back Uh, my name is Debo Lagbadebo, CEO of Luster Makeup. So the, I started with the brows before the skin prep because once the skin is prepped, it will be um, silky. So my hand cannot really rest on her skin. So I prefer to draw the eyebrow first so that the eyebrow area will be dry. You know? And before that, I used the attachment of the brow area to make it dry. Then I drew the brow, I lighted it. Then afterwards is the screen prep. Um, I use a moisturizer, anti shine, and a setting spray. That allowed the skin to be uh, hydrated, you know, making it uh, fit for foundation to sit well for a longer period of time. And um, afterwards, I apply my foundation with Beauty Blender. Though you can use brush, but I do prefer to use Beauty Blender because it gives more even tone, even application. Then after that, um, I did the highlighting with uh, a lighter shade of concealer, like two shades lighter than the person, you know, just to create an uh, illusion of having an overface. That's part of the highlights and the low lights thing for the contouring. So after that uh, is eyeshadow application. So I don't want to use a very bright eyeshadow so that it won't distract us from the eyelashes effect. So that's why I use the matte subtle eyeshadow. Then after that is a gel liner application. Afterwards, I use a setting spray again to set all the powder application I've done after the foundation. Then afterwards, I use a, a dark powder to do the contouring, to do the contouring, just to give out the illusion of having an oval face. Then afterwards was the eyelashes. Then after that was the lipstick. If you check the makeup before the eyelashes and after, what eyelashes does is that it has a little drama. And there's a way eyelashes just you know change the whole look. So if we look at the makeup that we did, we didn't really use so much eyeshadow. So it doesn't really have to be applying so much eyeshadow and all that. Once you put your eyelashes, it just changed the makeup game. Like it just give you that of a room look and all that. Beauty You're welcome back from the creative room. Now we're still talking about weight loss journeys and um, how to keep your weight off. Like I said earlier, the, I don't know about you ladies, but for me, I tend to lose weight faster 
around my lower section than my upper section. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm I'm wide up here, just like Matilda is. I'm not alone. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you know, so I don't lose weight there. Now, for some of us as well, we don't need to exercise, but we lose weight. Mm -hmm. For some, you must exercise yes. and lose weight. Mm -hmm. Another school, don't mind me, I'm pouring it all out. Another school of thought does not believe in calorie counting. Mm -hmm. So how do we, you know, work on all of this? Because I've seen where so, so some women with big, you know, stomachs, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, from you know what she's done, I see that they've lost weight. Mm -hmm. How? A lot of people will come and say, I'm okay, I like my body, I just want my tummy off. But the honest truth is, you can't just lose weight on your tummy. Mm -hmm. As the scale is going down, as you are losing weight generally, your tummy will come down, your harm will come down. And then another thing is that the harm now is the, like your own harm. I don't like using this. Okay. Your no, harm no, is okay. different. Okay. Okay. I mean so the way your harm is now and the way my harm is, yes. I can decide to start lifting weight. It's weight. true, yes. So basically, it's just body type. That is like the most important now set to talk about yes. your body type. <laughs> <laughs> so so, so that's just we all have it. different body types. Yes, we all have different body so types. So what's her body type? Uh, there's a way to look at it. You know this apple mm -hmm. shape, pear shape, hard okay, glass yes, shape yes, thing that. that mm -hmm. uh -huh. So there's a way to look at it. Then that stomach fat you're talking about, there's another thing people don't know about. That is called diastasis recti. Yeah, I read okay, about yeah. that. So too. some women have it. It's like the um, separation of abdominal muscles. Okay. So when you have it, you can do sit-ups. You know the general rule is when you want to lose stomach fat. So yes. People go and do sit-ups, sit crunches, and you can do one million of that daily. You your lose. stomach is not going to come down. So there are particular type of exercises to do. There's a type of diet specifically for if you have it. So basically, it's different people, you no know, different body types, different issues. Some people have it they don't know and they're trying to lose tummy fat. So you are doing crunches, you are doing everything. You are not losing weight in other places, but you are not Except losing well, in your stomach yeah. because you have that condition <laughs> and you are not even aware of it. <laughs> That's that. it's, it's the number one Nigerian problem, yes. men and women. Yeah. I don't know if so it's rice or something. Carbs, yeah. We eat a lot yeah, of carbs, one, and yeah. we eat carbs from when we are young, like from yes, baby. You see so people you from six Just months old. You are giving your baby big amala, big semo. Like when people come and tell me to give my baby <laughs> and this, and I say no. Carbs. I no, they look at me weird, like. She's just six months old. Give her a malajo, and I'm like, I'll give her, but not now. Let her just enjoy. Let her stomach is just let her eat fruit. Let's make banana puree, avocado. Let's not just give this six months old big amala and big fish. And she's a baby. And the main issue is how we eat our carbs. You know the way we eat carbs in Nigeria now. Mm. We eat eba. Oh yeah, yes. rice in the morning. We eat. Thank you. Mm. So yeah. breakfast, they'll wake up usually. Bread, bread, bread egg, bread. and beverage breakfast. <laughs> oh, Lunch is probably that. swallow. Then dinner is maybe spaghetti, mm -hmm. macaroni. Indomie. So we eat carbs a lot. Boom, 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 and when we are not eating these carbs, there's no vegetable to support yes. it. There's no protein to support it. When we are even putting vegetables, so some people say, ah, a ban, a four. A four is vegetable now. The oil they've put in this hefo, mm. the seasoning, the meat and all those things. So it's a lot of so people eat the calorie for the whole day in one in sitting. One meal. So that's mm. why the stomach <laughs> gets it. So it's not just <laughs> carbs are not the enemy really. That reminds me, let's talk about the different, you know, um, we're not doctors, yes, and we're not mm -hmm. trying to bring down any particular diet. Mm -hmm. But some of us have gone through some diets. I did Atkins, I did Keto. Um, the consistency <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the consistency of, you know, trying to stay, you know, um, up there and make sure you continue with this kind of diet. Um, Matilda, did yeah. you do any and what was your experience? It's amazing. I've done quite a few things actually. Okay. I didn't do a particular diet because I, I don't like to be like subjected and slaved to mm -hmm. something. Okay. I've locked my teeth once. Okay. Yeah. I've done that. Which you've done that as well. <laughs> okay. You've you locked know. your teeth. Yes. Yeah. You, 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 use, oh. you just take liquid. Oh. Fluid. But the anger mm -hmm. is when you take that out, mm -hmm. you go like 10 times bigger. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> I've grown and loved this. Tea. It's not green tea, some coffee that makes you not eat. Okay. It does suppress your appetite. Yeah, mm, and after okay. two weeks, I was, the breeze goes like that. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I was getting, getting, yeah, I'm getting dizzy. Going on. I was like, what's happening? You know what I mean? I've done the zero zero one where okay. I'm not eating at all. No fasting because I remember not praying while I was at it. But I don't <laughs> You know. How about you? I haven't lasted two weeks on any. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried a keto diet and because I like my carbs I went yes. back to the regular crazy. diet. 
I haven't done any for two weeks. I haven't been that disciplined. <laughs> oh, wow. I love my foods, and I the only thing I know I do, I try to do, is portion control. Mm. Okay, mm. which That's is all. good for you. Mm. Did, you, did, you, did, you did you did you go through the whole? Week I did keto? Atkins. I did keto. I lost weight, but I didn't like the way I was losing weight in keto. I don't know. How are you losing weight? I was. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I should say. Uh, this. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please say. Oh wow. Well. <laughs> I don't know. I changed my schedule. I couldn't prepare my meals and move on right. with it. That's the, the other part, time. okay? Yeah, it's time. You have to be able to eat properly with everything. It's but these days, everybody's doing, like, you know, going under the lasers and the masks. Yes, I was just going yeah, to I ask. Yeah. Do, 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 do that. I, I think I need to talk to someone that's done that before mm -hmm. to share with us. Biatrix surgery and the other exactly. ones, you know. And some of them are losing weight so fast. Fine. Depends on the weight. The, and their health is. There is this show that is called My 500 Pounds Life. I don't even if you've seen it before. Yeah. My 500 Pounds Life. Yeah. So that one, like, if you are that big, there is no shame in it. And don't follow the crowd. Do what works for you. Exactly. As you said, you like carbs now. Just look at how can I eat my carbs without. I, say I like carbs. <laughs> you I said you like your you carbs. <laughs> Um, yeah, the way you can access all of that. Okay, that. So, much, so much, so much to say. Thank you so much, ladies, for being part of this program today. You're I'm welcome. sure, I'm sure mm -hmm. we'll uh, come back to talk about some other things. Based on the questions you want to ask, we'll always come back to discuss. Matilda Duncan, <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. Sophia Jao, thank you. You're welcome. You have clients now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I hope they're free, by the way. Just, just check it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> 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 I can't say rough soon. People are beautiful. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Love yourself. We've learned a lot today. I'm sure you have as well. Thank you so much for being part of the program. That's it on Beauty Diaries for this week. We'll see you same time next week. Thank you for staying tuned.